In this uh, tutorial, we will develop an understanding of relationship between D values and F values. So recall uh, from a previous tutorial when we were looking at the thermal characteristics of microorganisms and we discussed the D value that we can on a semi-log plot where we have log scale on the y-axis and x-axis is regular scale. We have D values on the y-axis and temperature on the x-axis that a, uh, a line represents the relationship between D values and temperature. And as this line traverses one log cycle, uh, we obtain the Z value as shown here. Now, if we select another temperature T on this line, which has a D value of DT, and also select another temperature 121.1 degrees C, now as we see on this plot, we have two similar right angle triangles. There is A, B, C, a right angle triangle that represents the, uh, uh, the temperature difference Z as the line traverses one log cycle. And also we have a triangle P, Q, R, which represents the other two temperatures we had selected. So from these two similar right angle triangles, ABC and PQR, we can write the following, that AB, that's the length AB of the triangle ABC, divided by PQ will equal BC divided by QR. I'm sure that you can recall this from one of your previous courses in mathematics. So AB, the length, represents the change in one log cycle. So from this plot, we see that point A is log 10 raised to power 2, and B is log 10 raised to power 1. So we have log 10 raised to power 2 minus log 10 raised to power 1 in the numerator. And in the denominator, we have log of dt minus log of d121.1. And that equals length bc is uh, z and qr is 121.1 minus t. So now, just by simple mathematics, Note that log of 10 raised to power 2 will be 2. So we have 2 minus 1, which is uh, log 10 raised to power 1, divided by log, and we can write that as a ratio, dt over d121.1. And that equals then z divided by 121.1 minus t. So on the left-hand side, we have 1 over log dt over d121.1 equals z divided by 121.1 minus t. And then rearranging the terms by essentially taking the inverse of this equation, we have log dt over d121.1 and that equals 121.1 minus t over z. So we can take the log term from left hand side to the right hand side where it will become anti-log or it will be 10 raised to power, uh, the quantity on the right hand side. So we have dt over d 121.1 equals 10 raised to power 121.1 minus t over z. So this is an expression uh, that allows us to relate uh, D values at different temperatures. So for example, if D 121.1 is 5 minutes and uh, Z value is 10, 
what would be the value for D for 111.1 degree C? Uh, well, we can easily determine that by uh, replacing T with 111.1 in the equation. And if we do that, we will get D 111.1 equals 5 into 10 raised to power 10 over 10, and that equals 5 into 10 raised to power 1, or the D value will be 50 minutes. Again, you can check this uh, D value should be a higher number uh, at lower temperature. So D value uh, will be 50 minutes at 111.1, whereas it will be only 5 minutes at 121.1 as we can also observe from the plot. Now let's look at the relationship between D and F values. We have a plot with the microbial population and um, that population may be uh, going down, let's say from 10 raised to power four to 10 raised to power one. It's a semi-log graph, log scale on the y-axis and the time on the x-axis. And as you know, as uh, this line traverses through one log cycle, the time will be d value. So now f value is defined as the number of minutes required to destroy a given number of organisms at a given temperature. So if we look at this uh, plot, and if we were considering reducing the microbial population from 10 raised to power 3 to 10 raised to power 2, just one log cycle, that would be F equals 1 times D, or the process will be F of 1D, because we are just reducing the microbial population by one log cycle. On the other hand, if you wanted to reduce the microbial population from 10 raised to power 4 to 10 raised to power 2, then we have F value equals two log cycles, so it'll be two times D, or it'll be a 2D process. Similarly, starting from 10 raised to power four, if you want to reduce the microbial population to 10 raised to power one, uh, the line will have to go through three log cycles, so we will have F equals three times D, so it'll be a 3D process. So in other words, F is nothing but some multiple factor of D. So just as we saw in the last slide that DT over D 121.1 equals 10 raised to power 121.1 minus T over Z, we can also rewrite that as FTZ divided by F of 121.1 equals 10 raised to power 121.1 minus t over z. So the equation is essentially the same for f value. That is because f is nothing but a multiple of d values. And as you can see in this uh, equation, if we can multiply the same number on both numerator and denominator, and they will cancel out. So we have this uh, expression for F values that we will be using in another tutorial when we will be using a procedure called general method to determine a thermal process.